guys welcome back to my channel this is Ray and today I'll be showing you how I achieve this bomb wash and go but before I do that please be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos from me and be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments let's get into the video so I'm starting off on freshly washed hair and I have no product in my hair I use these products for my wash day I went ahead and separated my hair into four sections as usual and I'm starting at the back. Before I did this, my hair had already dried because I had no product in it and I really wasn't in the mood to have a feel wash and go. So I made sure that my hair was completely wet. Uh, then I go ahead and add my leave-in conditioner which is the As I Am Long and Lux leave-in conditioner. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I love this leave-in conditioner. If you want to see my thoughts on it, you can go ahead and click the link at the top. After that, I add my As I Am Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Uh, now, this was my first time using this product. So, this was my kind of first impressions on it. It definitely defined my curls as you can see in the video. But I still felt like it was a little too light and it had too much frizz still. So, I had to go ahead with some gel. This is the Eco Styler Black Castor Oil and Flaxseed Gel and yes, I have a big tub because I really really like this gel. And here I'm just doing the prayer hands method. Y'all whoever invented this method is a boss because my curls just clumped up so good after I did that. Like This was the first time I used the prayer hands method for a wash and go. So yeah, I was really surprised how well it helped to define my curves. That is definitely a must add to your technique. Alright, so let me talk you through the process now. First, I soak my hair, like soak, soak, really soaking wet. And then I add my product. Now, I, I tend to go heavy handed with wash and goes because... My hair is frizzy, so I add a generous amount of product. And I mean, like, considering that you're not going to add any products in your hair for some days, uh, it's really not that bad. I go ahead and I add my leave-in and my styler, which is the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Then I do the prayer hands method. And yeah, that's all I do on my entire head. The same exact process right through. So I'll speed up the video so you guys get a general overview of what I do. Yeah, so that's how my hair looks. I'm really impressed with this combo. It was really, really good. Um, I'll give you my thoughts on the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Okay, so I'll start with the pros. And for the pros, I'll definitely have to say that it's very lightweight. It definitely defines my curls, as you guys can see. It has great slip as well. So for me, I think it's great if you like like an airy feeling. Like you like your hair to feel like it's, it's not there. But for me, I like my hair to have a little weight, so I, I don't like that airy feeling. For the cons, I definitely have to say that it's not very moisturizing. I definitely couldn't use this product on its own. Um, yeah, no, my hair would just feel like, like dry, so no. Um, also, the hold is not so great because I tried to use this product for a twist out. And I did like one twist with it and I was like, nah, because it really wasn't making no sense. So I would not recommend this for twist outs at all. But I still do think that it's great for wash and goes because it's so light and it does define your curls. 
So I feel like you could layer it with other products without your hair getting like greasy and feeling heavy. So I would still use it for wash and goes, but I won't use it for twist out and definitely not for moisture. Okay, so here I'm just putting my hair in a side part. Again, if you've been watching my videos, you know I hate center parts. And here you can see me kind of squeezing the hair the root to make sure that all the product gets in there for me since i'm going to pick out my hair anyways looking back now it probably didn't make any sense to do that but yeah you can do that i think it helps with the frizz a lot and for this side if you notice i'm doing like a much bigger section because I realize that I can apply my products in bigger sections and then when I'm ready to do the prayer hands method I can just separate that section into a smaller section so I feel like doing it this way really helps to cut down on time so yeah you can apply your products in larger sections and do your prayer hands method in smaller sections So this is how my hair looks at the end of everything. There was no frizz, no frizz whatsoever. Uh, this is how much product I used. You can compare that with the picture in the beginning. And this is the amount of shed hair that I had. And this is my hair like 24 hours later. And it's completely dry. It's very, very flat. So I picked the life out of this like i picked my hair real plenty initially i was just picking at the roots but i guess my hair like i don't have that big big poofy hair so to get that poofiness i really had to pick in the middle of the hair and here i'm just adding some bobby pins i just do this to get the hair out of my face so i don't like hair in my face it's one of the reasons I haven't like cut bangs yet or anything. And this is the final look guys. I really like how this wash and go came out. I think this was the best wash and go I have ever done in life. And considering that I hadn't done a wash and go in over a year, I think this was a really, really good result. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Let me know if you would try this combo. Uh, let me know if you like these results. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.